สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Today is Monday, April 1st, and I'm your host JP m i s a n s a with the news you need to know. The project to finally put the Patong power cables underground has hit a snag, unsurprisingly. As reports say that a lack of information by state-owned internet and communications company CAT Telecom is holding up the project. IMP Consortium, the company hired for the project, they have until March of next year, 2020, to complete the work, which comprises installing the power lines underground along three kilometers of Patong Beach Road from the Pakbang Canal at the southern end to Hot Patong Road near Loma Park under a 228 million baht contract. But municipality says that the critical information from CAC Telecom is needed before they can go ahead with the plan. Although specific details on what just what they need was unavailable, and if it's not provided soon, then adjustments on how they'll execute the project will need to be changed, according to the city's chief engineer. When work does begin, the contractor will bury the power lines and telecom cables along the Patong beachfront only 50 meters at a time. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Police are now scouring the island for a man who stabbed his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend in a jealous attack in Macau over the weekend. Police say that their initial investigation revealed that the ex-boyfriend of a Thai girl who worked at a local restaurant in Macau as a pizza chef, he allegedly went in a jealous rage and learned where his ex's new boyfriend was living. That man, n o p a l d o r a b o was said to have gone to that man's rented room in Mu 4 of Maikau at about 8 a.m. on Saturday morning, allegedly kicking down the door and stabbing 24-year-old Padung Pong Pum Chai and then fleeing. Police found Padung Pong lying on the floor about 50 meters away from the rented room, covered in blood with stab wounds to his abdomen. Witnesses say he ran out to call for help before collapsing. The latest we know is that he's still. At Talang Hospital, recovering while police search for the attacker. Charges of possessing bomb-making materials are being pressed against two men just two weeks after a fatal explosion at an island in p a n g n a Bay that killed a man and hurt two others. Let's explain. On March 18, three men went to collect orchids at Ko Lao Pai, one of the many islands in p a n g n a Bay. It's only a handful of kilometers north of Ko Yao Noi. And while there, one of the men, a 25-year-old fisherman, stepped on a mine while entering a cave at the island, hurting three men, one of whom later died of his injuries at a local hospital. The blast took place as they were climbing up past a bird's nest cave, and it was not until last Thursday that the Krabi police and the military bomb squad searched the area of all the islands and went to Kotalu, where they found bomb-making materials near the entrance to a bird's nest cave, which was linked to a 44-year-old and an 18-year-old man. Those two men were arrested for possession of explosives and weapons without a permit. But both are denying the charges, saying they had nothing to do with the materials and were hired to look after the island and protect it from birds' nest thieves. Companies hire guards to stay at the caves to protect the birds' nests, a highly prized commodity as a food source, considered one of the most expensive foods in the world, that can sell for anywhere between $2,500 to $10,000 a kilo. Sit tight, p u k e t e x t r a be right back after this. Visit us in p a t o n g or InkInAsia.com. The fourth annual Phuket Hospitality Challenge will be held at the Championship Laguna Golf Phuket Course on Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. If private hospitals refuse to provide information on the cost of producing their medicines and medical services, then the government says they'll take legal action. The threat is being made by members of a subcommittee tasked with studying the spiraling costs of medicine and medical services in Thailand. With one official saying that all private hospitals were asked to give this information back on January 31st, but only half of them complied. And if they don't do it by April 4th, then they'll be in violation, subjected to up to three months in jail, and face a fine. 
The working group's aim is reportedly to evaluate the production costs of medicines, medical supplies, and services, all to consider if these private hospitals are exaggerating their prices, hoping that they can identify and control possible price gouging in the private medical industry of Thailand. Phuket's Best Burger 5 event saw lots of people come out to the Phuket Boat Lagoon to chow down some of the island's top beefy treats, with the winner of the event taking home the title of Phuket's Best Burger for 2019. Over 1,500 people took part in the event, which saw loads of food and drink stalls from some of the biggest names in the island's burger scene, with music provided by the Two Chefs Band. It was the first year the event saw Phuket's best vegan vegetarian burger, which went to Le Meridian Phuket Beach Resort. The winner of this year's Phuket's best burger competition was none other than the newcomer on the scene, Prime Burger Phuket, located at the new Central Festival Patong Mall, making handmade smash burgers with 100% Australian beef on brioche rolls. Congratulations to Le Meridian and Prime Burger. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.